<sighs> Hi everyone, it's Shay. I want to talk to you today about getting organized. That is something that I absolutely love. Um, the funny thing is Chad says I am the most organized, unorganized person because I know where everything is and I know what I need to do. It's just sometimes actually doing it. But um, I want to talk to you about two tips today. Um, two, sorry I was a little low. Two. And I want to go over them with you uh, and see if these are things you're already doing. Um, they could be, but the first tip is to um, write it all down. Write everything you need to do. If you go grocery shopping or you need to go grocery shopping, write it down. You need to get it down to a T. Um, if you need to do five loads of laundry, this is going to be done weekly for you. Um, and you want to make sure that every single thing that you have to get done, you write down. It is very important. And then after you do that, I want you to estimate how long it's going to take you to do each thing. I know you don't like this. I know, I know, I know. But this is organization and a little bit of productivity and time management too. So I was sneaky, sneaky throwing it in there. Anyway. You need to get that done. So then next to each list or next to each item on your list, you need to write it down and you need to say, okay, um, this is how long it's going to take me. I need to write five blog posts this week and I want to do it in one chunk. It's going to take me three hours with research or whatever. Just write it down how long it'll take you to get that one item done. And then I want you to estimate it. Remember, you only have 24 hours in a day and you're supposed to be sleeping seven to nine of those hours, not four to five people. Um, and then after that, I want you to really get your calendar out. And if you're a parent or if you have multiple jobs or if you're just a busy person, it's going to be hard to find the time. But if this is what you're doing for your business, you're going to make the time. Um, I know you've heard the quote, if you, if you want it bad enough, you're going to find a way. And if you don't want it bad enough, you're going to find an excuse. And that's true. So you need to make the choice. Okay. Okay, Shay, I am committed and I'm accountable to you. So because you're adorable in this video and you know what you're talking about, Shay, I will do it. That's you talking to me. That's not me just talking in the third person heads up, <laughs> but commit. I guess that's the third thing, except there were only two, but either way. So back to number two, you're going to get your calendar out and you're going to make time for each item on that list. And if it's going to be for a month, then you make it for a month. But when you put time on there, you put it in ink, don't pencil it in. I know things are going to come up, but you need to write it down and you need to create a loose schedule and you need to stick to that schedule as loosely as possible. Obviously there's going to be emergencies and, and things that could potentially happen, but this is what's going to get you structured. This is what's going to get you consistent. And this is how you're going to a manage your time, B be productive. So not only are you mind dumping all of your list of what you need to do, but now you have a plan of attack over the next week, two weeks, three weeks, however long you're doing it for, and you will be able to see it as you go through. And something I do, if you see behind me, um, I put things that are due around my vision board or on my, I have a computer right there and I'm on a computer, but I, um, I have stuff taped around this computer as well. Things that need to get done that are important that are supposed to be get done that day. I'll look at my to-do list in the morning and I'll say, okay, this is very important. I need to get this done today. And I'll make sure that it's taped right where I can see it. Um, so I know it's gotta get done. And I'll do that on that computer as well, or I'll put it on, um, I, my book or my journal, I have my journal right here as well. I'll put it on my journal. Um, so I'll say when I'm going to write down my midday miracle moment, which that's going to be a different video. But when I go to write down, I'll see, oh, it's still not done. I have to do it. So that's two tips for you. And yeah, um, why don't you comment? Share some tips that you use to help you to increase productivity manage your time. It's very important, especially when you're blogging and you have a job or you have a family, 
you have to take care of your time and take care of yourself with your time too because that's the most precious thing you have so anyway share below um what are some things that you do to stay productive and to manage your time thanks guys and i will see you later bye